the first component is located that is fixed now we need to assemble the other component on this body to retrieve the component we have two methods one as we had seen we need to retrieve the uh, command insert component from the shortcut or we can choose from here now I will go with this insert component browse from here and I'll go to my uh, library parts where it is saved wall seat click open now the part is located here and this part is not constrained it doesn't have any uh, condition so it can freely move in this space now this component should be placed on this surface it is on this slot now what I will do is I will go and choose once again mate return the command mate to add the mating condition and uh, here we required this surface and this surface should be concentric now you can choose this surface and this surface randomly automatically you can see the uh, concentric constraint that is mating condition is added and apart from that the software will show you a callout where it will show you all the possible constraints you can apply for this combination that is the two combination is uh, the cylindrical surface of one part and the cylindrical surface of the body now my preferred uh, mating condition is concentric so I will click this concentric and will click OK here now uh, we locked one degrees of freedom that is this concentric condition the next what we required is this has to locate exactly on the top surface this bottom surface should locate on this top surface so I will use defaultly it is using coincident so I will accept this one the next one is this you can see here it can rotate easily on this axis but I don't require this axis should rotate that is this component should not rotate about this axis now for this what we need to do is we can expand this design tree and here you can say my front plane okay or uh, okay not body we can choose either uh, we can go for uh, first selection of either one I'll go to select first wall and here this is the front plane and the assembly front plane both should be parallel not coincident because my requirement was only parallel condition you can either give parallel coincident nothing wrong in it but here my intention is to give only parallel so once it is finished I can click here OK and now uh, I will cancel this dialog box and uh, now the two parts is exactly fit in the screen and now my next component I would like to retrieve here so what I will do is I will directly open the uh, this browser that is Windows Explorer and from here I will take directly this wall seat okay once you place this wall seat this wall seat I need to assemble here so once again mate I can choose this and this as the concentric and this surface should be coincident with this surface and similarly this face is parallel to this face and here I will choose parallel and click OK here so one, once it is done I can give OK and we completed the assembly of next component and now I required another part that is valve so once again I will drag this part here and once the part is uh, dropped here now we can start applying the mating conditions the first mating condition is uh, this beveled surface that is conical surface should exactly land on this beveled surface for this once again I can go with the approach of using mate but now what I will do is uh, I will use uh, alt key and I will drag the surface over this surface okay now you can see automatically it applies the constraint 
where exactly the two surface is having this coincident constraint. Click OK here. This is a one more method of assemble uh, mating the two components smartly using the ALT key in the keyboard. Next component is also that is in total three components we assemble. If we required uh, similar like this component on this side uh, without doing uh, additional work what I can do is I can right click this component I can say copy with mates and directly I'll go and say this is the surface and now I'll say right click give OK here this component is also located this is another method of assembling the component using copy with mate and now we have totally four components assembled and the next component we need to choose from the library either I can go with uh, uh, pivot or pen whatever according to the requirement we can choose and we can assemble 